daily guidance your daily spiritual message your daily reflection depending on what part of the world you live on my loves and what time you are seeing this but nonetheless whenever this message shows up in your life my loves that is when it is meant for who you (laughs) okay we know that time does not exist time is an illusion okay it is never too late it is never too early the only thing that matters is right now because the choices that you make at this very moment okay is shaping your future and walking you away and in some cases running okay carrying you away from your past into the sunset into something better all right and until then it's very important to be present in this moment Because this is where all the action happens. All right. So my love muffins, I hope that you have already took the time, okay, to meditate, do something on a spiritual level, pray, send up some gratitude, send within some gratitude, (laughs) okay, Um, just about where your life is going. Okay, all that you have overcame, all that um, you are overcoming, all that is coming to you, all this abundance, all these opportunities, all this magic that is unraveling in your life, even if it is showing up as something unpleasant, I promise you, there is a blessing in the midst of chaos, all right? There is a blessing in the midst of a blessing. It's never... It's this, you know, oh my God, let me slow down. Sometimes we are, you know, conditioned to believe or to judge certain things. And I'm realizing when you pull the judgment off of people, places, things, and you just allow it to be, you allow it to flow. When you really go in the unconditional realm of love, that's when really like things will really start to make sense that's when opportunities (laughs) things that used to get you hot heavy and mad you know it won't even it won't even bother you anymore you know and I've been really practicing and really you know not just saying it but actually you know doing it practicing the state of um you know gratitude and unconditional love Okay, so my love muffins, with all that being said, I hope that you have looked in the mirror, honey, and loved on you, acknowledged you. Yes, you are the ish. I promise you, okay, guys? So here's the thing, okay? As I was meditating, um, you know, getting myself together, doing some bed yoga, honey, drinking me some um, green tea, then having me a cup of coffee, talking, um, going on my morning walk. Yes, I'd be doing all this <laughs> before I um, record the um, daily guidances, okay, the soul guidance. One of the things that um, I was looking and it was just so beautiful as I was like having a conversation with my sister, we seen two rainbows, like literally like reaching up in the sky, you know, and it was just so breathtaking, like the, just the mist, you can tell like it probably like drizzled, drizzled last night. So there's like a great little mist. The sky was just right. The coffee was just flowing in my throat. It was just, I was in total bliss okay that being said my love muffin as i was in meditation okay as i was getting ready to do this beautiful reading i really heard in my spirit okay someone needs to take off the limits okay about how much love you can have in life how much prosperity you can have in life and you really need to adapt to the mindset that miracles are happening and miracles are happening to me 
All right. Take the judgments of whatever you feel like, why you can't, you know, advance here and have all this and, you know, start that that thing that you want to start or go those places that you want to go. It's time for you to remove those judgments off of yourself and really come into some unconditional love. Uh, unconditional love is so beautiful. That means at your best, at your worst, in your middle, when you're up, when you're down, when you're happy, when you're snotting and crying and a half then drunk a half bottle of wine, like unconditional love. You know, when you're killing it, when you're rocking it, and then when you didn't hit rock bottom. Um, I really feel like when you embody that about yourself, okay, or continue to embody that energy, so many beautiful things are going to unravel in your life, all right? It it's already has your name on it. Guys, I'm so sorry if you hear me like moving in the background. I didn't sat up here and got some of these God, these braids. I don't know what they call, but I can tell you what they not going to be. They not going to be in my head much longer. Like it's too tight. I can't think. <laughs> so please forgive me. So, um, yeah, so the energy that the divine, your soul really wants you to adapt and come in today is realizing that nothing is off limit for you. Okay. To reach for the stars when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to the love. Okay. When it comes to a partner, when it comes to your health, anything reach for the stars, light always prevails. Uh, y'all, I just heard this one thing that was talking about self-love and this beautiful soul. She was like, you know, you know what real self self-love is, you know, um, self-love is knowing that what is for you will never miss you and really being comfortable and sitting in that. Because if you really knew that, that what was for you would never miss you, you wouldn't settle When it comes to relationships, you wouldn't settle when it comes to, you know, a career. You wouldn't settle when it comes to family, people, places, you know, um, situations. It don't matter. The sky would be the limit. It would be limitless for you. You would honestly reach for the stars. You would go after everything knowing that what is for you will never miss you. Do you know how much comfort that will sit in you? Do you know much comfort lies in that? And I really want you to know that that is very true. That what is for you will never miss you. So you can rest easy. You can move how you need to move. You can go where you need to go. You can do what you need to do. You can be. Maybe you've been worried about, you know, missing an opportunity or, you know, it's too late. You kind of waited too late to start something. No, what is for you will never miss you. It don't, it don't judge you by no age. Maybe you're desiring a relationship right now. All right. But you really need to heal. You really need to mend. Okay. You can take rest in what is for you will never miss you. Okay. And we'll do it the other way. Maybe it's time for you to get out there. Maybe it's time for you to start dating. Maybe it's time for you to give that person a try. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to open up in your relationship. Maybe it's time for you to relieve, relieve yourself of that relationship because it's, it's, you're settling, okay? Maybe it's not all bad, but it's not all good. You're bored. And I remember, you know, people don't realize, but Staying in a relationship just because it's comfortable or just because you're used to it or just because that's what is expected of you, you know what I'm saying? That's still a form of settling because if you could be with somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to be in a relationship where there are multiple options. Like I could be with anybody, but like, bro, I'm choosing you. Like that's what I'm on. Like all these delicious snacks out here, but this is my snack. I don't want to have a snack where I'm like, well, damn, that look real good. You know, I wouldn't mind dipping and dipping in that, getting a bite of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't want to be nothing like that. No, 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 no. You know, I don't want great value donuts. You know what I'm saying? I want some good gourmet, high quality. Mm. You know, feels good to me. Like, that's what I want. Okay. 
So I really feel like today the divine is really asking whoever is watching this to reach for the stars. You can rest and know that whatever is for you, my love, it will not miss you. It won't. And honestly, there's a situation pertaining to that, guys, that when those words like reflected back to me and I was like, wow, you know, because I know that to be true. And it just helped me so freaking much. So, you know, oh, I'm so sorry if I'm shaking the camera, guys. But, you know, in those moments, you know, take the time because we're coming into the lion gate, the lion's gate. 8-8, eight, eight, uh, an amazing portal, a shift. It's already happening, but it's only going to intensify. You can manifest. You are manifesting whatever it, your heart desires, whatever frequency you're in. You are manifesting more of that into your life every single day. Okay? So right now, like we said, get clear. Define what it is that you want. Reach for the stars. Stop, 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 you know, stop getting a couple of chips when you know you want three damn bags. Get them that, get them three bags. Okay, get some dip too. <laughs> you know you want four cookies, but you over here with that little piece. Get your four cookies. All right? You over here with sugar and you want chocolate chip. I don't know. You know, you over here with tea and you want coffee. It, what I'm trying to tell you is reach for the stars. It's time for you to go after what you truly desire, okay? You can do anything that you put your mind to, all right? And I really feel like right here, <laughs> okay, I kind of started. So sorry if my, my, my hair, guys, I am so uncomfortable with this hair, if it is scrubbing the mic, okay? So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and clarify you know, the soul guidance that the divine has for the beautiful soul that is watching this video right now. Go ahead and clarify. All right, well, it came out. Okay. Let me get one more. All right, let's go ahead. Wow, well, are they just, okay, that's too much. Let's, <laughs> let's just, they just flying out. Just, okay. We're just going to keep it. If you guys hear any snoring in the back, that is my nephew. You know, school is still out and I'm still the cool aunt and everybody wants to be around me. And like he was up late playing Fortnite. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So here we go, guys. Also, um, before we look into this, as I was shuffling, okay the um these beautiful oracle cards that i got but i think it's like the fifth agreement or something like that um look at the card that wanted to come out and i feel like this is as a collective it says i was born to perceive the truth okay and i feel like today you know what is your truth what do you define as truth okay that's the major question the truth leads me to my authenticity, to happiness, to a life that is very easy. When you are living your truth, okay, not somebody else's, but yours, when you make peace with yourself, okay, something happens, all right, that truly unlocks mystical, magical things to come into your life. Now, Living it, not walking in your truth can be a little scary. <laughs> All right. Really going after what you want, reaching for the stars, doing the things that you really desire, being who you are at your core, opening up to love, healing, you know, to, to bring the love that is truly a reflection of you in your life. This takes courage. This takes might to look at that truth. But I promise you, you can do it. Okay? I promise you, you can. So let's go ahead and start and see what the divine wants to open up with. Okay? What is the soul guidance concerning you reaching for the stars and removing judgment and stepping in your truth, knowing that there is nothing that you cannot have, cannot be, cannot see, cannot do. You are the creator of your reality. And the first thing that we have is the miracles are endless. The cow 
spirit. And cows are supposed to be sacred, okay? The miracles are endless. And this is the mindset the divine really wants whoever is watching this to really embody today. You came down here from source, God, divine, whatever name you would like to identify it with, okay? The divine with. The divine has many names, but you came down here, okay, to be happy, to be fulfilled, not to struggle, not to be struggling, not to be in poverty, not to be in lack. You didn't come down here for any of that. And even if you did, merely an experience, not your whole life. I'm pretty sure you didn't sign up for that. Okay? And today, or even this week, I feel like whatever's been happening in your life is showing you that you deserve more. There is so much more out here. So much life to live, to experience, to feel, to see, to embody within your relationships, within yourself, within your career, there is so much out here for you, okay? And it's time for you to really come into that mindset that miracles are endless for you. Now, <laughs> okay, you gotta make a decision. But either way, either way, what is for you will never miss you, okay? So I feel like in divine timing, it's coming. You know, it may, and, and this is a tower car. So sometimes, you know, the tower can, can be a little, can be a little, you know, a little hectic. Do you want to go willingly or do you want to go kicking and screaming <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like time out for watching other people be happy. Other people have success. Other people live fulfilled lives when you are, you're here to do the same. Okay. But the only difference is they made a conscious decision, internal decision to live their truth, to honor them. And to each of us, that may be something different. But as long as you are standing in your truth, as long as you are honoring you, the things that are for you will never miss you. If you are in lack, if, if, it, if it ain't looking right, honey, and it's okay, and maybe that's a hard truth to realize. I had to realize that. Oh, y'all, I had to realize that. Oh my God, I had to realize that. That was a hard truth for me to face. But when I looked at it, when I examined it, when I acknowledged it, I said, okay, all right, I'm ready. And Lord behold, did the universe bring people, places, experience, experiences, teachers, <laughs> you know, my way to help me break free of that mindset. Okay to help me break free and follow my passion, to help me break free and wake up every day fulfilled, helping beautiful souls connect with who they are to stand in their truth. That is so powerful. That brings me joy. That really, I would tell you something else, but I, you know, <laughs> that really dibbles my skittles, okay? We'll just say that. But anyways, <laughs> you know, so when you come and you make that decision to accept that miracles are endless, all right, that you are worthy of miracles, that it is your birthright to be happy. The divine God wants you happy. He wants you healed. He wants you whole. He wants you thriving. Because in the midst of you doing that for yourself, guess what you're doing? You're shining light, waking other beautiful souls up, letting them know, yeah, you too can be great. You too can have the desires of your heart. You too can be happy. It's a domino effect. You came here to spread that beautiful light of yours. Okay? Yeah, look. You got the bat. I think this is the badger. <laughs> the badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Oh my God. Like one of the most, you know what I really feel like evil, like if we want to put it negativity or put like something is evil or what's demonic to me, demonic. I can't, I don't even know that word, but y'all know what I'm trying to say anyways. Um, <laughs> you know what that is to me? Fear. Do you know, like, let's just, come on, let's just, let's just have an out of body experience right now. If we were not fearful, and I can I can even attest to this, okay? You want me tell you something? I can, I can be real with this. If we were not fearful, okay, if you didn't let fear stop you, 
I just want you to sit back. Fear, because fear can, it'll stop you from, you know, making a choice that you really want to make, going to places you really want to go, seeing people you really want to see, doing things you really want to do. But if fear was not there at all, what would your life look like? What would it look like? Honestly, we let's be honest. What would your life look like? Okay. I want you to envision that. I want you to feel that. I want you to see that. What would your life be like? What would you be doing? How would you be dressing? Where would you be going? Okay. Like paint that picture in your mind. What would be your purpose? Write a day in the life of if fear didn't control you. Just write it. I did that before, guys. And let me tell you something. I did this at a time where this, I didn't even, like this was non-existent to me. And what I can definitely tell you, I, am I completely there? No, no, I'm not going to lie. Oh, but honey, I mean, if we add a, if we're at a, like, let's say a scale of one to 10, you know what I'm saying? I'm at a solid eight. <laughs> I'm at a solid eight. But oh, it's a shift coming, honey. Oh, it's about to turn up. And I'm so fucking ready for it. You just don't understand. I'm so ready for it. I'm going to murder. I'm going to smash. I'm going to devour these last five months. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm just so excited. Okay. Um, but how you work up to that, okay, is you really making a conscious decision decision every single day okay to take small steps to stand in your truth okay despise what others may think despise what other people may you know may do you making that conscious decision i'm telling you do you know how many people miss out on the love of their life because they're afraid of what people might say you know, or afraid that they may get rejected, afraid, or, you know, they really want to go after this business opportunity. They really want to, you know, go after this, this, um, position. They really want to travel the world, move to Japan. I don't know, <laughs> you know, do something, but they're so open up their yoga studio, open up a coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? Start a meditating group. I don't know. Write that book. But fear gets in the way. They let fear get in the way, okay? And it's time for you to, to stop doing that. And if we're all honest, we you know, it, it's, some, it's some places that I can release some fear to, okay? And I feel like with the four activation, you hold the power, the courage inside of you to do this, okay? You have the divine on your side. And I promise you, when you guys do that, when you move past that thing that you've been trying to go around, avoid, there is going to be so much fulfillment in your life, but you can't skip this process because I feel like this is fear. This is doubt. This is a way that you're seeing yourself. Anytime I see this fox show up here, it don't matter what it's showing up in. It is portrayed just how a fox is. Okay. And I feel like it's a way that you're viewing yourself. Okay. You probably, you know, like not having the confidence within you, like go after it. Don't be afraid with the three of stones, creativity, Whatever it is that you need to do, maybe you need to go off and heal, you know, start working on your healing journey to really, um, you know, help with those insecurities to really build your confidence. Okay. So you can create a life, a dream that is leading you to fulfillment. Okay. Yeah. Because reversed, we have the Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Okay. Maybe, you know, you've been overanalyzing, <laughs> trying, you've been in your mind, you've been thinking too much with the four of arrows, okay? This is what you needed to rest. You need to set yourself free mentally from these insecurities and these, these you know, these responsibilities that's on you because it's weighing you down. It's, it's sucking the luster out of life, okay? And you didn't come here to experience that. 
You know, and even if you did, okay, you did you did enough. Believe me. I know, I feel your energy. You didn't you did you didn't have enough responsibility. You did enough. Okay. It's it's time for a break. It's time for somebody else to carry these little tin wands around. You didn't you didn't pay your dues, okay? You didn't pay your dues. It's time to let go of the stress, you know, the you know, the anxiety, the burden, you know, you having to sacrifice your life and your dreams. No, I don't, I don't care what age you are, you didn't did enough. You good. No, it's time for you. It's time for you to experience the life, you know, to have to for the mystery to be put for the mystery to be put back into your life. Okay. Yeah. Look, because we have the dog spirit reversed, and it talks about be loyal to what you love. You're not being loyal to what you love. You're being maybe loyal to you know what other people love or you know of, of what what you think. And I feel like it's just this one thing. It's as a belief. It's, it's something for, it could be <clears throat> my throat. I might need me some tea. <laughs> it's trying to close up on me, but I really feel like it's time for you to be loyal to what you love. Create a life that you desire. All right. That the divine desires for you. There is so much deliciousness out here with your name on it. Okay. But it's all about your perspective. Okay. We got perspective, the world tree, how you're looking at things. And then we got balance. I feel like when you change the way you're a belief or how you're looking at things, okay? When you be bold, okay? When you make a conscious decision, this is when it's going to click, okay? This is when it is going to click. So what I want to do, okay, is I want to pull from the fifth. I really like these cards. It's, okay, one just... I want to put it back because I want to <laughs> really tap into all of the beautiful souls, energy, spirit that are watching this video. Okay. What do you have to say to them? Okay. Okay. It says, spirit wants you to know I changed the world by changing myself. It first must start with you. All right. The love that you want to give, the love that you want to receive, you first must give it to yourself and then it'll be given to you. Okay. Whatever it is you desire, you first must give it, find it within you. All right. And then it will show up. It says, I'm changing the world by loving myself, by enjoying life, by making my personal world a dream of heaven. I change myself just like magic. Other people start to change. Now, didn't I just say this? <laughs> look and I said no judging yourself self judgments are not the truth okay everything I believe about myself is because I learned it every judgment is just an opinion a point of view and that point of view wasn't there when I was born when you were a baby you had none of these things you didn't see your you, fear was not a fear was not a factor doubt None of this. You're bad. You need to be doing this. You, you got to be doing that. none of that. That was placed on you by somebody else's pers persona or perception or fears or insecurity. That's even like going back to when, how we, how, you know, a lot of us have these money blocks, these prosperity blocks up because when we were in grocery stores, everybody had seen that meme floating around on Instagram somewhere. When we get in this stove, don't touch no candy. You know what? You know, you know. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Can I have this? No. Can I have some McDonald's, you know, on a w w drive right home? You're like, no, we got McDonald's. You got McDonald's money. We got McDonald's at home. So those little things were planted and in, 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 in taught to you that money was, was scarce. You know, we don't have it to do this. That's a luxury. You can't afford that. So you grew up thinking that, believing that. So if you're hearing that your whole life, that thing's just not going to disappear. If you've been hearing your whole life that, you know, um, that, that, um, you're, you're, you're dumb. You can't do anything. You never do anything right. You're horrible. You're, you're, you know what I'm saying? You've been hearing this, this whole time. You're incorrect. You're not listening. You know, da, 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 da. And I, I don't know why. Okay, guys. Um, 
you have to understand when I'm tapping into energies, I just feel multiple things. Certain things that I say, it may apply and certain things it may not. That's because it's for somebody else. And really, which is crazy because, you know, you if you've been following the daily guidances, you know what I'm saying, since back in the day, you know, like I haven't really went there in a long time. But for, for, for some reason, religion keeps coming up. You know, I feel like somebody is is bound um by you know these beliefs and and sometimes um you know if you've been hearing you know you need to be obedient to God and you need to do this and da 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 and da 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 you've been hearing that your whole life well then guess what that's a belief that was implanted so anytime that you go to do something that is truly for you that God truly has for you but you've been hearing your whole life that it's not what it is like I was hearing you get what I'm saying it's a conflict. You know, things will things will show up. But I promise you, okay? You can retrain that. Go on YouTube <laughs> and put in affirmations. More precisely put in you are creators, okay? You are creators. Listen to affirmations. It's just things that you hear over and over. Y'all know, I'm telling you, affirmations changed my life cuz I had some really deep and planted seeds in in this mind of mine okay honey like I just there was I didn't have an ounce of worth I didn't love I wanted to be anybody but me anybody but me anybody but me guys okay anybody but me and in my first like like I said what was it I think a year ago because when I like about a year ago two years ago I can honestly say there is nobody else that I would want to be. I'm talking about not even Beyonce and I love me some Beyonce, but I like, bro, like I'm so content with Tori. Like I'm so happy, not even content. Like, bro, I'm happy. I, I'm starting to see why I reincarnated into this body and this soul because I am truly an amazing person and you are an amazing person. And I apologize for every single person that has spoke down on you. I apologize for all of those negative bad seeds that they were projecting on you because that's really how they feel about their self. I apologize about that. I apologize when you make a mistake. You know, people like to cast stones and talk so much shit like they don't, like they ain't got shit they hiding. I apologize, but just because you wear your truth you get what I'm saying? Rather, I don't care whatever it is. Whether it's an addiction, I don't care. Whether it's, I don't care whatever it is. But the fact that you are open with it, the fact that you are honest with it, don't never let nobody shame you in your truth. You stand in that truth. Do you hear me? You stand in your truth. Okay? I don't care if you just had a meltdown and now you didn't build yourself back up. It don't matter. No. Okay? Okay? <laughs> all right so, oh look at this oh my god i am aware of the power of my words okay i am aware of the power of my word what you speak what you feel what you say about yourself the word is a force i cannot see but i can see the manifestation of that force the expression of the word which is my own life so how if you Whatever you see in your life, in some way, whether you thought it over and over, you spoke it in your life, you, you caused this. And I know that's like a truth, like what you mean, <laughs> you know, but the beautiful thing is you can create, you can create a different reality. You don't have to stay in a sunken place. You don't have to stay and the place of self hate, you don't have to stay in lack. You can grow from it. All right, just how you said words or believed other people's words, find good words. Excuse me, guys, drinking tea. Find good words, find affirmations, things to say about yourself to build yourself up. Okay, so I love you guys so freaking much. I hope I did not go too deep, <laughs> but I love you and I want you guys to go have an amazing day. Um, don't forget to go out and hug a tree for me and you guys. The sun is like just uh, so freaking beautiful. I'm about to go have some like, um, I think like brunch breakfast with my mother. Okay. And just like, yeah, be a daughter and try to like figure these braids out, guys. But I love you so freaking much. I'm so excited. Um, 
For anybody that's on a twin flame journey, make sure that you check the community tab. Make sure you follow, subscribe to um, Kay's channel. We are going to be going live. I was I was going to like um, do live where I show my face, but I think I'm just going to focus on the cards. I think this is not going to be the only time that me and Kay Moon go live. And plus, I'm going to start going live on the channel. <laughs> yes, honey, we about to go live. So, um... I'm just trying to figure out my internet because it just be doing too much. And, you know, I'm a Sagittarius. I can't be, uh, 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 uh. oh, that stuff irritate me. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So look out for that, my loves. And um, even if you have a question um, concerning, you know, whatever it is, your twin flame or whatever, I will be taking it for a small fee. <laughs> okay, so I love you so freaking much, guys. Go have an amazing day. As always, I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Your monthly spiritual guidances are almost done, all right? Be looking out for that within either probably, I don't know, I'll probably drop them like um, 12 in the morning tonight or, or really early in the morning on um. Wednesday, you're still going to get your um, daily guidance too. <laughs> okay, my loves, I love you, and I will catch you on my channel. Take care.